asbestos, the way to dusty death. The asbestos in this particular school was not on the ceiling. It was used to insulate the piping system. If intact, the insulation is no problem. But when it frays or is broken off, the asbestos dust is released, and as we now know, even a short exposure can be fatal. But still, Dr. Selikoff told us recently, not much is being done. We put 30 million tons of asbestos in place in our refineries, our chemical plants, our ships, our powerhouses, buildings, schools, and it's all there. It has to be maintained, it has to be repaired, it has to be remodeled, it has to be removed. And we don't quite know how to do this. It's another kind of legacy that's, that's still there. One of our worries is that we don't know what to do about it. At the moment, we're sort of keeping score. You know, we're ticking off people as they die. Uh, the treatment has not improved since I spoke to you last. We don't know what to do for mesothelioma. It's invariably fatal. The people who were exposed over the years and who now are at particularly great risk because they're 25, 30, 35 years from when they began work, these people are not being kept under surveillance. They're not seeing doctors regularly. At least we could save some of them, and we're not. Uh, we're sort of transfixed by this tragedy. And as a country, we're not handling it very well. 